Hey Ian Grace, sorry for taking so long. Finally, here's your color correction reveal effect tutorial. First things first, make sure you're using the editing workspace because this way all the windows that you will need for this tutorial are already opened up for you. I already imported the clip I want to work on, so I right click on it and select new sequence from clip. I right click right here, come to new item and select adjustment layer. Okay, then drag and drop the adjustment layer right on top of the clip. Come to effects and type Lumetri C for Lumetri Color Plugin. Drag and drop the plugin onto the adjustment layer. This is important. Drag it onto the adjustment layer, not the clip. With the adjustment layer selected, the Lumetri Color Plugin has to appear right here. So let's quickly do the color correction. And this should do it for now. Let me just toggle the visibility of the adjustment layer to give you a before and an after. And now let's create the color correction reveal effect. There's really not more to it than simple keyframe animation. And it's done up here. With the adjustment layer selected, make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the clip. Then come right here to position and click on toggle animation because what we want to animate is the position of the adjustment layer. And we're going to start with the position at the beginning of the clip. Obviously, we don't want it to be visible at all at the beginning and then during the clip, bring it in. So here's how to do that. Make sure the keyframe is selected, then come to the X position right here, currently has a value of 1920, click hold and drag to the left. And now watch the program monitor on the right and check out what's happening. As I drag left, I drag the whole adjustment layer to the left. Obviously, at the beginning of the clip, we don't want it to be visible at all. So you can do this by dragging or by simply entering the value that was in there before with a minus. In my case, this means I have to enter minus 1920. Then come to the end of the clip by dragging the playhead to the right. And now let's put the adjustment layer back in place. Once again, you could click hold and drag to the right or simply enter the value from before, which in my case is now 1920. And there we go. Position the playhead at the beginning of the clip and hit play. We've just animated the color correction reveal effect. And this is really how easy it is. Now, since we are already using keyframes, it is now super easy to decide when the animation begins, when it ends, how slow or how fast it progresses. For example, if you wanted to start late, click drag the keyframe for the beginning of the animation to the right. Now, when you start the clip from the beginning, nothing happens. But as soon as the playhead passes the keyframe, the animation begins. Likewise, if you want it to end early before the clip is done, click drag the keyframe for the end of the animation to the left. Now the animation will end before the clip is done. If you want a really fast transition, the closer together the two keyframes, the faster the transition. Obviously, the further apart, the longer the transition will take. So, Ian Grace and everybody else, of course, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. All the tech that I've used in this video is linked in the description. As always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.